Okay, hello there. I am in the Pamis Crystal and I'm here with a 4090 PC and I am in Project Cars 2. So let's try this. Oh yeah, okay. This looks so friggin' amazing. This looks unbelievable. Wow. Oh, I think. Oh, <laughs> this is set to manual, so I have to uh, like change the gears myself. So sorry for the driving, but I can just tell you that this experience right now, I did. Ne I never had this kind of experience in a VR headset before for racing games. This looks so real. Oh my goodness. Incredible, just incredible. So I think just for this experience, people who, are, who want, people who look for racing games, this is it. Oh my God. So, okay, this is now only one level, right? But the level of detail and the level of um, yeah, clarity that I see here right now is so far unmatched. Like, I don't even want to, to, to call out the PSVR 2 here, which I love, but this is like on a whole, completely different level. Oh my goodness. Just this experience here now, I know people will go crazy about it. They will completely go crazy about it. So, so why is that so now? First of all, I, can, I have the perfect clarity right now. Like, no matter where I'm looking with my eyes, everything is super clear. This is so nice. And uh, for, for the FPS, it, it just, it, it feels perfect. It probably this is just the maximum we can do here in this game. Oh, I totally forgot that I have to do the manual um, gearing here. <laughs> it's just super smooth. The colors look great. <laughs> I have a very nice FOV, which is, yeah, I would still say it's something, it's uh, in terms of um, horizontal, it's something like index. But actually, it's, this is like, in no way is it um, like restrict, restricting me for my feeling. Probably this is the feeling that you would normally have when you wear the helmet, honestly speaking. And in terms of vertical, it's basically flawless. But this clarity, these visuals, the FOV and everything coming together, this is absolutely what sim racers want right now. I have never seen this kind of experience and I, I didn't have this kind of experience in another headset. So this is so far the the best demo I've seen here. Like this is convincing. This is like this is like okay shut up and take my money. So for, for sim races this is it. Okay. Yeah, I will test out more games and I know that, um, I actually know that the, the sim racing community, they don't want to see Project Cars 2 anymore. They want to see something like Automobilista and therefore I asked Pimax to, to buy that for me and they did. So this is going to be a game that they're going to download for me too. But this already is, oh my goodness, I've seen, I've seen this game in all the headsets, right? Because this is always like a standard test that I do. Project Cars 2. But this kind of fidelity, this kind of graphics, which it, it, it actually, it looks, it looks real. It looks like reality. <laughs> this is crazy. Unfortunately, I also really have to shift the gears. <laughs> <laughs> but that is, wow, that, that is truly, truly a, a game changer.
And I'm using this now with the standard 35 PPD lenses, not even with the wide lenses. And honestly, I think this is great. This already is great. Like I have no, I, have, I feel like the, the, the binocular overlap is huge, just giving me this feeling of presence. Oh my God, wow. What an experience. So I kind of became a, a, a sim racer thanks to the PlayStation VR 2, right? Because GD7 is just like overwhelmingly amazing. But seeing this now, the fidelity with a 4090, shut up and take my money. I, I also believe I should buy the 4090 next to the next to having next to having the um, the crystal. However, I do think that this might also be possible with a 3090. I would also need to try that. But this experience here is like jaw dropping. Wow. I totally forget to, to shift the gears. Wow. Can you, um, um, can you find a, another course for me? Another, another lab? Like a, yeah. This is, this is so good. This is incredible. So I want to try more. Let's see what else I can get. Yeah, this demo, this demo is very good. Fantastic, really. <laughs> Fantastic demo. Okay, not another car, like another track, yes. Okay, let's see this. It's the audio, ask the audio. Yeah, audio. Hmm. Yeah, audio could be better. Okay, sorry for asking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no, something is wrong. I think you have to. Uh... Oh, yeah. This? Oh, okay. It's interesting to do that. <gasps> wow. I, I feel. So friggin' immersed in this, it's crazy. It looks so amazing. And the thing is, there's no distortions whatsoever. It just feels amazing. <gasps> like, ooh. But unfortunately, the audio is still not good. Or probably uh, you can turn, you can make the audio a bit louder for me. Hello? I'm here. Uh, can you uh, uh, make it a bit louder? Da okay. Okay. Wait, wait a little. Oh yeah. Okay, this is better. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The sense of speed, everything, like this is, and the clarity. Okay, I, I, need to, I need to release this video as soon as possible to tell people about this. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my goodness. This is truly this is truly the best racing experience that I've ever had in VR. Period. Oh my goodness. So if if somebody uh, if the racing community is watching this, you want this in your life.
I know probably you're you're using now the the HP Reverb G2, right? Or probably the Aero. I can tell you here right now, this is so much better than anything you've seen before. <laughs> this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. The colors, the clarity, the FOV compared to yeah, compared to what you're using right now. This is absolutely friggin' amazing. But my brakes don't work. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm too fast here. I don't know. Like on the... Wow. Nice. Yep. Um, could you turn off the local dimming just to, uh, just to see the difference? Just would like to see the difference between... Okay, all right, all right. It's... So yeah, it's simply brighter now. <laughs> so in, in this scene, actually, it's better to turn off the local dimming, I think. Wow, this is, this is truly, truly close to a perfect experience. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I think I've se I've seen enough now with this. So, hello there. I'm going to um, I'm going to publish this video as soon as possible, probably even today or tomorrow, because I know that you will be excited about this. This has just been the best simming experience that I've ever had in a VR headset. It's clear. It is fluid. It's it's just like wow. So if you're a sim racer and if you're wondering, okay, is this better than the Reverb G2 or the, or the Aero? Like the clear answer is yes, it smokes them. It's so, it's so, this is like so good. Wow. And you know, I'm like uh, coming from the PSVR 2 right now where I play in GD7 now all the time because I love it. This is like obliterating that experience. If you, wow, this is just so, clear could you tr come close and try try to make it through the lens video let me let me just try that here with this camera okay it, it probably cannot really okay you cannot see that because the the, the frequency is is wrong now with with this camera but it's just so clear and clean it just looks like reality basically I will, yeah, I'll, not now, it's all later. So yeah, th no, this, this has been the best thing I've seen here so far, for sure. And th they will show me more things later. They will show me Microsoft Flight Simulator tomorrow and uh, more experiences. But I know that the, 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 the racing sim community simply wanted this information as soon as possible. So that's why I'm, that's why I'm going to release it. Um, Loved it, really loved it. Still, the audio still is, is still as bad as before, in my opinion. Not, yeah, for some people, probably is usable. For me, no. Then I would use a different kind of headphones. Um, this now, actually, this is on the standard 
on the standard 35 PPD lenses, which I think are fantastic. And this is even not, not the white FOV headset. This is not even the white FOV gasket, but still it is on that index level that for me personally is like more, it's like really good, right? So with this experience here, I'm super, super happy. And I know racing simmers will be as well. So that's still simply something that I wanted to get out there in the public as soon as possible here from my visit at the Pimax headquarters. And no, there's nobody from Pimax pointing at me with a gun in the background. <laughs> so this is, uh, you know me, um, simply excited about this. And I'm, I'm just thinking about the potential of this down, down the road, because this is now very early in the development of this headset. They're not ready yet, you know, like uh, it's still not, uh, the headset is not there yet in terms of software, still not, right? So it's not perfectly stable, like lots of demos that are tried or not tried today were not possible because something was failing or so, but the potential here right now already for sim races is huge. And even now this was, this was perfect. So this is just something that I wanted to let you know as soon as possible here from the Pimax headquarters for me trying out Project Cast 2. I will try more, but this has been an incredible session. All right, I hope you appreciate this like directly out of the Pimax headquarter footage, even this footage is not perfect, right? But I si simply wanted to let you know this as soon as possible. Hope you enjoyed this. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, do that now because you're going to get way more videos about the crystal here in the future. That is everything I got now. Tell me uh, more things that you want to see here while I'm here at the Pimax headquarters. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. So now they have exchanged the auto solution for me, right? The DMAS, which I hope they will deliver directly with the device. And um, I will strongly advise them to do so. And now we are in a night race. So, oh, you have to recenter, please again. Wow, this is so clear. Wow. This is, ah, oh my God. No, I think we have to, rest, sorry, I think we have to restart the race. I'm not used to drive Formula One cars. <laughs> Hello? Yep, thank you. So, thank you. So, I have to go to one. Yes. Wow. Oh my God. <gasps> this is so... Wow. Okay. This, this is exhilarating. This is crazy. It feels... This feels so real. Yeah, and the and the DMAS audio solution here that I'm on right now is so much better as well. Okay. Yeah. So local dimming looks good here. It is very very dark. And here now, for, for like, like for example, the, the sky right now, right? I also don't have any blooming problems because, well, it's just black, <laughs> right? So, but even here now with the signs, it looks good. Okay. Could you please um, press the recenter button again? For some reason, I got the de recentered. This, yeah, thank you. Wow. Absolutely amazing experience. Absolutely, like super convincing. Like I'm sure, I'm 100% sure that any kind of a VR racer that you put into this experience here right now, they will just feel exactly the same like me.
Like, shut the F up and take my money. It just looks photorealistic right now. That's the thing. Can I see any kind of pixels? No. So you probably know that. You know that how it looks from, from the arrow. But here it's like a wider FOV. I don't have any kind of, I don't have any, any kind of warping or distortions going on. This is just how it's supposed to look like. With nice blacks. So, even at this stage here right now, I can tell all the racing sims, yes, you can get this. You should get this. Because this is frigging convincingly amazing. Wow. I did not expect that. Wow. But definitely, the DMAS, like audio-wise, it makes a difference. Uh, could you make it a bit louder? And also recenter the whole thing again. Oh, it's a bit too loud now. Yes, thanks, thanks, thanks. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Wow. Just wow. Like the sense of speed that you have in this right now is unbelievable. This is absolutely the one to get. Okay. Yes. Yeah, cool, cool. Thanks for showing me this at night. It's great. It is absolutely great. And yeah, if you're wondering about the night race, if there's a problem with the blooming, something that I saw before, like here in this game, I didn't have any problems with it. So it was just like perfectly dark, like the night and uh, also with the cars, it was good. So, night race, very cool.